Hi there! Today we're going to set up a 1 to 90 Scholar Cross Hotbar for players who play with controller on PC or console. You do not have to have a level 90 job to set this up if you want to get a jump on having a consistent cross hotbar. You only have to set this up once and it will work for any content level you play and you'll never have to adjust for syncing purposes. I separate these into four sections, right trigger 1, right trigger 2, left trigger 1, and left trigger 2. Remember that healers are more reactive than proactive and your healing widely depends on how much damage your teammates are taking. Right trigger one is always my main GCD heal spells. Remember we are building to where you can use this unsynced which is why I keep these here for when leveling down and are the same as all my other healers. We have Physic, Adloquium, Resuscitation, and Sucker. Physic, Adlo, and Sucker are here as they are the main GCD heals. If you are at level 90, then you can put Resuscitation here as it's very important and crits a few different of our abilities. If you are below level 90, then you can put Emergency Tactics here for any additional healing you might need to do in earlier level dungeons. Moving to the right trigger 1 D-pad, we have Swift Cast, Raise, Lucid Dreaming, and our Flex Spot, Rune 2. I always have these three abilities here for every healer so then the action of MP regeneration and reviving someone is always the same button press. In our flex spot we have rune 2 because too many times do I see scholars running around avoiding mechanics and doing no DPS at all instead of utilizing the instant cast rune 2 for less optimal DPS. You'll see a big difference in your damage if you remember to use this when you're having to move around a lot for mechanics and not able to damage. Right trigger 2 is our important job abilities. I find this cross hotbar easy to to get to so I keep our important wide crit buff, emergency tactics, dissipation, and deployment tactics. Dissipation is a really important to use when running into uh-oh healing as it increases your healing potency and gives you a free set of ether stack. Deployment tactics is one of my favorite abilities and is directly over Adlo as it spreads the galvanize effect. So having it on the same button and a different cross hotbar is really handy. Some might ask well why it's important since we have sucker that provides party wide shield. Adlo is essentially stronger in potency and in shield, so if you can spread one Adlo to an entire party, you'll get more out of it than one sucker. Plus, if you use Adlo deployment tactics, you have a chance of critical healing the person you actually casted it on, which is far outweighs the benefits of one sucker. No, and you cannot share a critical shield with deployment tactics. Imagine how OP that would be. Right trigger 2 d-pad is our least used area of abilities, sure cast, ether pack, summon fairy, and fey illumination. All things that are more situational or very time based. It's not that these are banished over here for being bad, there just is far greater abilities that need the better real estate. Left trigger one is our damage dealing GCDs. We have Art of War, Asuna, our damage over time, Biolysis, and Broil. These are here for every single healer, so making the switch between them is that much easier. Left trigger one D pad is our very important Ether Flow abilities. We have Ether Flow, Deployment Tactics, X Cogitation, and Lustrate. I usually keep my single target healing from jobs abilities to the left D pad trigger as they're easier to use on controller. These three abilities above Aetherflow are the most used abilities from the job abilities. You also want to keep Aetherflow on cooldown every 60 seconds as it replenishes your MP and gives you access to some of your best skills. If you're going to over cap on stacks, you can use Energy Drain, which is on left trigger 2 d-pad, to make sure to keep Aetherflow going. Now moving to left trigger 2 is our important fairy abilities. Scholar can be difficult because it has job and fairy abilities to manage comparatively to other healers. We have a Fairy Blessing, Expedience, Summon Seraph, and Whispering Dawn. Fairy Blessing is an ability you should be utilizing high on the priority list as it's free healing. Same with Summon Seraph. I think a lot of players underutilize these abilities specifically or don't realize really just how good they are. Whispering Dawn is your party-wide regen and you'll get this really early which is why it's over the single target damage ability. So one double click away for party wide regen is important and should always be kept on cooldown. Lastly, our left two trigger d-pad is protraction, sacred soil, limit break, and energy drain. Protraction is essentially our tank buster mitigation while sacred soil is a damage mitigation and later levels regen for the entire party. Do not underestimate the power of 10% damage reduction for the entire party. Lastly, energy drain is here in order to dump our ether flow stacks in case you didn't need them for healing and your ether flow is going to be on cooldown in a few seconds. If you notice, I do not really have any room for anything else on the hotbar, either repose or rescue. You can get rid of the fairy summon ability and put that somewhere else, maybe on hotbar 3, but I don't use rescue too often so I opted to not have it on the cross hotbar at all. Sprint and my other utility abilities are on hotbar 3 as I don't personally put these on my first 2 cross hotbar as you can see because they wouldn't even really fit. Cross hotbar 3 is shared between all my jobs so every job has access to it. 
Now, if you want to get the double stack cross hotbar, you can follow the video that's in the description box in order to do that or watch my controller guide. Now, with this, we have our full setup for our level 90 scholar. And once you get it to 90 and don't need to do leveling roulette anymore, you can switch some of these around, like taking physic off the cross hotbar one and maybe putting it to cross hotbar two. There's some room here, but it's really heavy on the button bloat because there's just so many abilities for scholar. So don't feel overwhelmed if it doesn't make sense at first. If this helped you even a little bit, don't forget to limit break through that subscribe button and I will link all my controller guys setups for all the jobs I've done so far in the description box or at the end of this video. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.